Blinked out Yoshi. Hey. I'm really, really terrified of it. I look like Michael Flatley if you played flamenco guitar. Grainne's first husband is killed by the shoulders. Not Sheila and Grainne, obviously. That's a relief. Normally you do weird stuff for me, and when you put on a glove in one hand. Neil, thank you so much for coming <laughs> in. It looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, that, they're the best bits. <laughs> That's I, it. Would, I would watch it. Uh, yeah, no, no, we've got now, what, four minutes to prove why people should watch it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it was a really good, fun show to make, and yeah. uh, it came together really, really well. well like, but the, the, the subject matter is so good as well, you know? I was going to say, we were talking about the Irish heroes. We have a few names mentioned there tonight about Coo Cullen. So who else is the whole series kind of looking at? Coo Cullen, Fionn McCool, Gráin Whale, and Reggie O'Donnell. So two mythical and two real, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're equally as valid, I think, because you can learn a lot from the mythical guys about, like Patrick Pierce, for example, loved Cullen, and so the yeah. myth kind of interacts with the history as well, you know. Um, I do have favourites in them as, as well. Okay, you know? do we Say the last episode because everybody will be like, oh, we'll watch the end. <laughs> yes, no, the player, they'll wait till they're all out and then watch the last one. The I kind of like uh, Cook, uh, some days I like Cook Cullen, some days I like Reggie O'Donnell, yeah. And how and much did you actually know kind of about the stories before you did the research? Because obviously you have to know absolutely everything going yeah, into it. Yeah, you do, you, but we. Uh, I suppose we sat down and we looked at the most interesting the people that we kind of thought we knew about and then we delved mm -hmm. into them more but I didn't know much about Fionn McCool I didn't know yeah. Fionn McCool is, was the biggest kind of hero in Irish folklore for 1200 years yeah. he is he's Ryan Swobbert he's Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> he's uh, Larry Gogan I don't think they've ever been compared before <laughs> they've never been in the same sentence anyway <laughs> but yeah he's like he's as big as you could possibly be you know yeah. and it was popular all around Europe at one point so um, I didn't know a lot about someone I didn't know much about Reggie O'Donnell and then Reggie O'Donnell, I remember the meeting where the producers went, say I tell you a story about a 15 year old guy who's, who's kidnapped, essentially using alcohol to kidnap him, and then they put him in prison for three years, and then he gets his toes amputated, and then he leads war until he's about 29. Would you like to make that? I was going, yes I would. <laughs> that is, that is a t that's not a TV show, that's a film. That's a yeah. So I went, yeah, you've sold me. You had me at amputation. <laughs> so uh, I, the stories themselves are as interesting. And then, yeah. and what then, was actually the favorite thing, your most favorite thing you actually figured out? I learned. You, yeah, you uh, learned. I learned a lovely thing. We fought the Battle of Kinsale. The English fought us. Mm. The Battle of Kinsale, this big battle on the 24th of December. And we fought the English in the same battle on the 3rd of January. Why? Yeah, because we were using different calendars. <laughs> but it does make it sound like yeah. Irish lads just turned up 10 days later. Yeah. I'm, I'm dreadfully sorry. Um, <laughs> a Jack Tinch tunnel was blocked or something. You know? well, a big part of the show is uh, the stand-up as well that you did in yeah, Baker Street. Yeah. That must have been... Was that hard, really hard to write? Because you really had to know the historical facts to kind yeah. of get it right. I suppose what's hard is that like, if you think of observation stand-up, you just kind of talk about things people recognise. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you do stuff that is about history and you might have to explain bits yeah. and pieces of the history. But we were very... Uh, sure to make sure that people knew what it was about when they came to Vicar Street. Yeah. Like you can't go out to a thousand people <laughs> go, this? who's ready from sort of 16th century based comedy? Education guys! Uh, so it was kind of cool and people, there's a clear delineation in the show between the academic experts mm -hmm. and what they're telling you and then me dressed as Reggie O'Donnell, absolutely. We do have a little bit of a clip uh, oh, to no. show some of the most really? ridiculous outfits you've okay. got to check this yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> seven bright pupils, eye jewels in each kingly eye. Each foot had seven toes, and each hand seven fingers. The nails with the grip of a hawk's claw. So a handsome beast then, yeah? <laughs> hmm. Well, you didn't quite nail the eyes. You're meant to have seven pupils in each eye. You try to draw on, on seven eyes when you've got Griffin's claws. Cucullin had seven fingers on each hand that nobody ever talks about. That's a little odd, isn't it? I'd love to see him in prison. All the other inmates have love and hate tattooed between their knuckles, and he has room for jealousy and disenchantment in between his. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So, so good. So who was your favourite, actually? You were saying... Uh, I liked Red Hugh because mm. I got to go to Spain and hold the document that he had signed. Mm -hmm. That's 400 years That's old. That's amazing. You know? And also we got to fire a cannon, like a full cannon. That's the only reason you made the series, was <laughs> Yeah. My producer is, like, she's a genius producer. Her yeah. name is Anne Heffernan. Hello, Anne, if you're watching. And she uh, had scheduled in the, the, the kind of worksheet, you know, I don't know, a couple of hours for this. But she mm. forgot that... I'm male, the, the director is male, and the cameraman is male, and the sound man is male. And she brought us into a room with 
Swords, the guy from Game of Thrones. And you all just completely in other league Oh, we were there for hours. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in, man. Uh, you've got a tour coming up, so yes. please do pimp it out. Yes, uh, the Fresh Prince of Delamere. Amen. Uh, yeah, I will not be doing anything like the actual Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but uh, it's, it should be good crack. Now. Awesome. Make sure you do head along and make sure you do check out the show tonight, 9 o'clock on RT2. We'll see you guys tomorrow with the red carpet from The Hobbit. We'll see you then. Oh, thanks, man.